How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. A lot of you have asked me how I am able to get my grocery bill so low. So today I'm gonna give you an example of what I spent over the last two weeks. For the majority of the time, I'm able to eat for only $3 a day. So let me show you what I actually bought. But first, BenQ sent me this light bar and let me show it to you guys. <laughs> Anyway, this is actually for your monitor. And what's good about this thing is that it does not cause glare on your monitor. It takes up no desk space. So if you have a lamp on there before, you can reclaim that spot. It illuminates your whole desk space rather than just part of it with a desk lamp. It plugs right into your USB port. It has an ambient light sensor so that it can do auto brightness as well as change your color temperature. If you're interested in one of these BenQ space saving light bars, check out my referral link down in the video description below. Now here is my spreadsheet for what I ate in the last 14 days. This spreadsheet takes a little bit of explaining because some items have more than one ingredient on it and I just sort of lumped it off to the side. First of all, let me just say in the morning, I have a milk tea. I don't really eat anything else. I have a lunch and a dinner and I don't usually eat a snack in between because it's filled enough. So let's look at the top row over here. I have milk tea. I put the meats and proteins in the first few columns. You can see mackerel pike, golden pompano, chicken feet, pork cutlet. And then I put the vegetables. You see green beans, eggplant, tong ho, kimchi. And then I have the grains, barley, rice. And then after that, I have the sweets, which is tobrolone, mochi. And then I have fruits after that, which are cuties. And then at the very end, I have total groceries as well as the cost of eating out. As you can see here, milk tea is not free and even tea being by itself, you would think that it's so cheap that, you know, maybe it's a couple of cents, but it's not. I actually have really high quality tea. I think I bought a pound of it for like $10. I don't really know how long it'll last, so I estimate some things like, oh, it's about 10 cents worth of black tea right there. With me making my milk tea, I only need the black tea water, which is basically free, condensed milk, which I counted as about 18 cents. So you can see over here, the total is about 28 cents per milk tea that I have every single day. Kimchi is not something I just bought at the store. I just made a video about how to make kimchi and the ingredients are Napa, salt, fish sauce, garlic, red pepper. All those things add up to be about 15 cents per serving. Now I counted how many times I was able to eat a certain recipe and then I divided it down. That's why it's only 15 cents each. The pork cutlet, I just did a video about that. And I had pork loin in there, which is $1.09. I use part of an egg because I kind of put it back in the fridge and then I reuse the egg because it doesn't make sense for me to keep on opening up one egg when it only needs part of an egg for that pork cutlet. Of course, you can just cook the rest of the egg and eat that, but I found that cooking part of an egg is just not very tasty. So I rather just save it and then make more pork chop instead. And then you have the breadcrumbs, seven cents, cornstarch. I counted that at about five cents. The total is about $1.28 there. Now this is my best guess estimate. Sometimes I have to go, well, you know, cornstarch, one whole box. I can probably get about 50 coatings of the pork chop with that. So I have to divide that down. So there's a little bit of guesswork here. I also use things like salt, pepper, cumin powder. Those things are non-zero, but they're actually very low. You can say it's about five cents or something, but I did not add that in here. Over here in the first row, you can see barley is nine cents, rice is three cents. Now, what I personally do is I take two cups of barley and one cup of rice and I mix that together and I put it in the rice cooker and I create this concoction of barley slash rice. With three cups of grain, I divide that down into uh, six portions. So barley costs about 79 cents every single pound. Rice costs about 50 cents every single pound. If you do the math, it comes out to be nine cents for barley three cents for rice. So in the first day that I logged this, in the morning, I had my milk tea and had nothing else, 28 cents there. And then for lunch, I had a mackerel pike. I had two fishes and that turned out to be $1.22 with some green beans. And you'll see that it's actually zero here because I went on this little cabin trip thing and there were a lot of leftovers. So I got this for free. Um, you could say it's a little bit of cheating, but you can see later on in my eating habits, even if I bought these vegetables, it's not likely gonna affect my bottom line all that much on a per day basis. If you just kind of look forward a little bit, vegetables usually cost maybe 59 cents for eggplant per day, or if I eat that tong hole thing, it's 23 cents. So you add all this up and having a fish, some grain, some vegetable cost me $1.62 for one meal. And then basically for dinner, I had the same thing. And I sort of at that point found out, hey, maybe the mackerel, having two of them was a bit too much because by the time I'm done with one mackerel, I'm basically done with all the rice. I'm like, oh, it's kind of weird. When I eat only the fish itself, it's not as tasty. And you know, I basically don't need two fish 
um, it's about this big um, in order to finish my meal. So over here for dinner, I basically had the same thing and then I had a piece of chocolate, Toblerone. The Toblerone is about $1 per candy bar, 11 pieces in each roughly. So it's 10 cents a piece and I only have one piece because when I have more than that, I don't feel really good. So I still like having a little bit of sweets. I do eat fruits and stuff and usually I eat more, but for some reason these days I haven't been having that much. I usually integrate it into my meal, maybe one or two fruits per day. Uh, right there you can see cuties is about 40 cents for that. It's about 20 cents each cutie. That's how much I estimated as. So the total groceries for that day is $1.62 plus $1.84. That comes out to be $3.46. Not bad for um, eating for one day. Usually people eat for a lot more expensive. Maybe they can only get away with like $10. If you go eat fast food, it's definitely gonna cost you more than $10. If you go once, it might cost you six or $7. If you go twice, it's about $15 a day already. This is a lot compared to eating for $3.46 and this is really healthy for you. So you can just keep on looking down at the list over here at what I ate. Uh, I keep on eating the mackerel pike. The next few days I ate one fish instead of two fish. Um, I'm just adjusting it because you know it's more comfortable that way. I try to not eat as much meat and just you know eat more vegetables in place of eating fish. And you have to see every single time I have a run of stuff. I usually only cooked it only once. Uh, the mackerel pike, I actually cooked it twice because I got it two times in a row. The green beans, I just cooked one big pot of it and I just stick it in the fridge. I take it out and take a little bit out. The mackerel pike is pre-cooked from the first time. I take one fish out. The barley and rice, I cook six servings at the same time. So I just divide a little bit out, put it in a bowl. I heat everything up with a microwave and then I eat. And then, you know, very quickly within about 10 minutes, I've already reheated everything and I'm able to finish the meal. Uh, I don't know, half an hour or so. Later on, whenever I run out of one type of vegetables, I move on to another type. You can see over here on day four, I started having eggplant. I bought two big servings of eggplant. I think it was like five or six eggplants and I just chopped them all up. I put it in a pot and I cooked that, basically steaming it. Eggplant takes a little bit longer to cook. So then I had to do that passive heat method where I cook it and then I stick it in the oven and I just wait a while. I actually had to do that twice before the eggplant was fully cooked through. After eating the mackerel pike, I switched over the golden pompano because I just wanted to eat that. It actually tastes really good. And I also made a video on how to make that. I said that was about a $3 meal over there. And you can see at the end over here, I actually spent about $2.15 on that meal because I happened to divide that fish into five servings. It's just the way it works out. Every single day you see I have the milk tea. This time I have the golden pompano. I have some eggplant. I have some kimchi. I finished making the kimchi and I started having a little plate of it every single time. I also made a video on how to make that kimchi and yes, the kimchi is what I eat. After I show it to you on video, I actually finish eating it. And then you can see every single time I have a meal, I'm always having some barley and some rice. The Toberlone, mochi and kimchi I have sparingly. Sometimes I have it, sometimes I don't, depending on my mood. If I feel like something sweet, I go and eat it. I don't restrict myself and then say, oh, I have to eat it in according to this plan. It's just basically what I feel like. Sometimes I have feel like having sweets. Sometimes maybe I feel like having something more expensive, then I'll get those. After the golden pompano, I happened to go eat out. This is the time where I did the vlog and I ate at that men O. Oh, that was $11. As you can see, $11 is quite expensive compared to what I normally eat every single meal. Every single meal is about $3. That means that one ramen, that one meal is three times the cost of my regular meals. But I don't actually sweat over it. Over the long term, I don't really eat out all that much. So it's okay to spend a little bit more now and then. And then after that, you see, I made a whole batch of chicken feet. I actually like chicken feet. It's not because it's cheap or anything. It's because I actually like how chicken feet taste. I like how it's chewy. I like how it's vinegary tasting. I also made a video on how to do this. I'll leave that video over here. And it turns out one batch actually lasts me a really, really long time. I counted over here roughly about eight meals or so. So each meal cost me about 62 cents worth of chicken feet. While I was having the chicken feet, I was having uh, this vegetable. It's a Chinese vegetable called Tong Ho. I got a really huge bag of it. And again, I made it the same way. I put it in a giant pot. I basically steam slash boiled it with a little bit of water just so that it's soft enough to eat and not completely raw. And then you can see I also have kimchi with that. I have barley, rice, same thing. 
the Tobolo Mochi Cuties. I have it sparingly every now and then whenever I feel like it. And over here, you can see uh, when I was having the chicken feet, it's like $1.39 for lunch, $1.59 for dinner. It's like roughly $3 again. $3 for day 9, $3 for day 10, $3 for day 11, $3 for day 12. And then after that, I started making the pork cutlet because I wanted to make the video for you guys to show you how to make it. Turns out it was actually really good. And I think I'm going to integrate this into what I eat normally. You can see as I added it up before, the pork cutlet cost me $1.28. And this pork cutlet um, if you saw the video it's really really good if you go outside and eat something like this it'll cost you like I don't know ten dollars fifteen dollars or something it's crunchy the middle is tender if you know how to make it right so uh, when you make stuff at home it's really really cheap if you know how to make it you can make it really really tasty along with that I also have some Tonho vegetable barley rice again it's always like some sort of meat some sort of vegetables and some sort of grain all together and then I have that as a meal. Again, a piece of chocolate or a mochi or a cutie is my dessert basically. It's like something a little bit sweet after you have your meal, you might want to have it. I don't have it all the time, just whenever I feel like it again. This evening, I plan to go out and I think what I'm gonna spend is roughly $15. So that's an estimate right now. If you look at the total for two whole weeks of grocery shopping, this is $42.72. This is two weeks now. So if you double this, I just do the same thing, okay? One month, it's gonna cost me roughly $85 of groceries. Now keep in mind, I'm not even really trying very hard to eat as cheap as possible. I am eating things I actually want to eat. When I go to the grocery store, I look at the fish and I'm like, oh yeah, you know, that's a good deal. I'll get that, I'll eat that. Or maybe sometimes I feel like, oh yeah, you know, that golden pompano, I wanna eat some of that. I do avoid the Chilean sea bass though, which is like $25 a pound. Once in a blue moon, I do opt to get something that I haven't had a long time and I crave for it. I will get something more expensive. The total for my eating out is $30.45. I forgot to mention about the Taco Bell that I bought for that Taco Bell video, $4.58. When you add all this up, $30.45, it's very comparable to my grocery budget actually. Average per day spending is $5.23. Now if I don't eat out at all, it's gonna cost me about $3.29 just for groceries. This I'm sure is really, really low for some people because I've had people message me saying, oh my gosh, they spend like $100 just on themselves. This in contrast is $21 a week versus $100 a week. How do I do it? Hopefully this video explains how I exactly do it. I basically eat every single drop of food that I bought at the market. Nothing goes to waste here. I hope this was informative in how I'm able to do this. Now, you might look at this and then go, oh my gosh, poor guy, he's like spending so little. I don't feel that way. I feel like I'm eating very well. When it comes to next meal, I actually look forward to it because I feel like it's very tasty and I want to eat it. This is in comparison to maybe someone that's trying to spend as little as possible. And then you go and buy bread or something and then buy peanut butter. I feel like if I had to eat bread and peanut butter, that would be forcing myself. I don't really want to eat uh, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches every single day, nor do I want to eat uh, instant ramen every day. That's not good for you. So it's very important to say that I don't feel restricted here. I'm buying things I really would like to eat. So I hope this serves as a good blueprint on how to spend really little on your groceries while eating really well. Again, if you guys are interested in this light bar, check out my affiliate link down in the video description below. I also have an Audible down over there where you can get a free audiobook. I have a Patreon over here and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.